Ladies and gentlemen, today we gather to remember and pay tribute to the late McKenna Anthony Mac Sinise, the son of acclaimed actor Gary Sinise. Mac Sinise's journey came to a poignant end at the age of 33, succumbing to a rare form of cancer known as Tordoma on January 5. The son of Gary Sinise, McKenna Anthony Mac Sinise, has passed away. The man was in his 33rd year. On Tuesday, Gary, who is 68 years old, broke the news to his Instagram and the Gary Sinise Foundation's website that his friend Mac had passed away from cancer on January 5. Chordoma is a very rare cancer that the actor revealed Mac had been diagnosed with on August 8, 2018. According to what he stated, the condition strikes 300 Americans annually and has its roots in the spine. According to the actor who played Forrest Gump, Mac's condition was announced a few months after his wife, Maura Harris, was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. Aside from Maura's recovery and continued cancer-free status after treatment, Gary mentioned that Mac's condition progressed and disabled him more and more as time went on. According to Gary's statement, Mac's diagnosis occurred after he had recently started working as an assistant manager of education and outreach for the Gary Sinise Foundation. The foundation assists current and former military personnel, as well as first responders and their families. According to what Gary Sinise had to say, Mac was an exceptional drummer who performed with the Lieutenant Dan Band and his father's band, Gary Sinise. Mac studied not only drumming but also songwriting and composition at USC, where he earned a degree. According to Gary, the symptoms of the condition left him paralyzed from the chest down and necessitated five consecutive surgeries on his spine between 2018 and 2020. Regardless of these constraints, Mac and a number of other artists produced the album Resurrection and Revival. As the album was going to press, Gary revealed that his son passed away. We are devastated in doing our best to cope, as any family would be after suffering such a loss. In a statement, Gary expressed his understanding of the difficulty parents face when losing a child. Anyone who has lost a loved one, or someone they know, has my deepest sympathies. To varying degrees, we've all been there. So many of our nation's heroes' families have become friends of mine over the years. It's brutally difficult and devastating. Our family fought cancer for five and a half years, and the battle got harder as it progressed. Our hearts hurt from missing him, but we take solace in knowing that Mac is no longer struggling. His resilience and determination were truly remarkable, he continued. He fought an uphill battle against a cancer that has no cure, but he never quit trying. It was in an interview with Fox News in December 2023 that Sinai's first discussed Mac's sickness publicly. In that interview, he paid tribute to the songs that Mac had been working on in his last months. Mac was living out a dream, bringing it to reality with his collaborating partner, Oliver, wrote Gary. It was incredibly motivating and therapeutic for him, and he was so excited to see it all come together. From what Gary said in his statement, Mac is survived by his parents Moira and Gary, his sisters Sophie and Ella, and their children, his grandma, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers-in-law, and caretakers Lulu and Mimi. Mac Sinai's Resurrection and Revival is the family's album, and Gary mentioned that they are making sure it's released and pressed on vinyl.